May 26th, full lunar eclipse moon in Sagittarius, a.k.a. What Blood does this mean? Well, if the highlight and the focus is um, lunar eclipses usually focus on relationships. So full moons typically mean endings. Lunar eclipses usually focus on situationships or relationships. So this being in Sagittarius, this screams for space and freedom and exploration. But also, it's not just about situationships. It's also about um, Sagittarius is about education, publishing, public speaking, technology, and higher learning, um, a broader spectrum to meet a um, bigger way to communicate with a broader audience. This might have to do with how you operate your business or work environment, um, how to grow yourself on a business level as well as in your career. You've felt like you've been challenged in these areas, stunted a little bit, or feeling stagnant. So this is like showing you that how to push through and persevere. Being able to express yourself authentically, um, being true to you. Maybe you have been struggling with that and not being able to express yourself in that department, um, either with relationships or within your business goals. And there are some harsh aspects that do come up that challenge you to growth and move forward up with this. Um, so we do have sun squaring jupiter so sun is about self right and jupiter is about luck and um reaching your goals then you have venus squaring sag venus is like to the heart of the matter um, neptune is feeling dreamy so it's like you've been dreaming about moving forward with this particular situation then saturn squaring uranus is like endings and again uranus is like the rebel so it's really about rebelling to end something so you have to really this one's really focusing on really coming clear and moving forward and getting real of what you need to change in your life so you can be where you want, really want to be deep down inside to push through all of those demons and so really what you should do during this time is to write down all the things that you want to get rid of uh, you know, most of it's fear-based thinking, um, self-doubt, um, just over obsessive thoughts, and then really, really visualize yourself with the outcome of your goal. So I always say set it and forget it. And then once you've planted that seed, you move on to the next visualiz visualization or goal that you are looking to achieve with this next phase that will be coming up and don't forget we're also having a mercury in retrograde the 29th that lasts three weeks and that will be in gemini as well so again it really is the highlight of communication and um really being able to say what's from the heart space and being honest and getting real with shit so happy full moon <laughs> good luck <laughs>